more matches are announced for the last showdown. Johnny Champion travels to Australia and wins more gold. And we hear from Lil Lil. Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ricky Sailboat and you're watching Wrestle News Weekly. Welcome back folks, so much news to talk about today. We just have a big episode and yeah. First we're going to catch up with a little wrestler by the name of Flippy Felipe. Flippy has been here since the very first episode of Supercharged Wrestling, but he's recently taken a turn to the dark side. He turned on his formal partner, Pa, and now he has some choice words to say. Let's throw it down to Flippy Felipe. Super Lucha! It is I, Flippy Felipe, with a message for you. I'm not done for you. I'm not done with you. I'm not done. And I, at the last showdown, I want to break every bone in your body. I want to take this to new heights, one may say. That's why I challenge you, sir, a Super Flippy McLucha. Rooftop Rumble Match. The loser will get thrown off the roof and you will lose. So if you accept, let me know. Also, I kidnapped all 14 of your little Mexican children and I'm changing my basement. A Rooftop Rumble Match? My goodness, that's one of the most devastating matches around. Well, I don't know if Spelucha is going to go for that one, but only time will tell. Speaking of devastating matches, you know, we talked a little bit about Boo Boo last week. He was our wrestler of the week, and his rivalry, his continuing rivalry with his former partner, Lulu. Now, the announcement has been made by Mr. Boss, and it is now official. It will be Boo Boo versus Lulu at the last showdown, in an anything goes match. No rules, no stipulations, beat your opponent with all that you've got, and may the best man, or should I say chicken, win. <laughs> now next we're gonna hear from a man that we haven't heard from in quite a while. He actually won his debut match many months ago. It is none other than Lil Lil. Let's go down to Lil Lil. Manager, you suck. You can suck everything I suck, but I see you taking on new clients and I see them every single day on your stupid little ads about importing fish and saving my wife. I see that little kimchi on your commercials and I know he's not little because he's about twice my size, but you know what? I want to fight him because he is dumb. I can't say anything else because I might get banned. But you, Kimchi, I challenge you to a one-on-one -on -one fight and I'm going to beat you with a bowl of rice in my hands. Stupid. Boy, a lot going on there. I am a little bit concerned though about what this means for the scheduled Kimchi versus Schizo matchup, another matchup that has been long in the making. How will this affect that? You know, I'm not quite too sure. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. I told you, Karate Chop that more people will be punished for each week that goes by that you don't accept my Falls Count Anywhere Challenge. Get up! Stand up! You feel bad for an almost Steve here just cause he's with me now? Well guess what? Don't! He can take it. I've done a lot worse to normal Steve here. And yeah, every day that goes by, more and more people will get beat to death. 
whether that's normal Steve here, whether that's somebody else in the Supercharged Wrestling locker room, because guess what? I just can't wait to get my hands on you, Karate Chop. I just can't wait to tear the flesh from your body, because I'm Gunnar Jones, and I get what I want! So, so, so sorry about that to all the viewers watching at home. Didn't want you to have to see that. These Gunner Jones appearances are never scheduled. I wouldn't want to have a man of that that caliber scheduled to be on a show. So I just want to apologize for that. All right, folks, before we go any further, let's take a look at our wrestler of the week. This week's wrestler of the week is none other than Schizo Jr. Yes, he's wrestler of the week. After just one appearance in Super Charge Wrestling, because let's face it, he made quite the impact on his debut last week when Mr. Boss interviewed him. Schizo Jr., the son of Super Charge Wrestler Schizo, really has it out for his father, saying that he abandoned him and left him to die, basically. Will Schizo Jr. ever get his revenge? I guess time will tell. And that is why Schizo Jr. is our Wrestler of the Week. Alright, so, next bit of news. Uh, uh, I'm not quite sure what that was. Um, do you know what that was, uh, Susie? Susie's uh, one of our producers. Susie? No? I don't know where that came from, honestly. I thought it was, uh, so, uh, like an, an ad read I was supposed to read, but it apparently was not. Anyways, alright, it's that time on the show where we check up on Johnny Champion. As you know, Johnny Champion has been traveling around the world, competing in the top promotions and winning the top prizes, and uh, a quest to get all the gold he can, I guess, so... This week he traveled to Australia, where he competed in KWW, otherwise known as... Kangaroo Wallaby Wrestling, where he competed in their one of their top tournaments, the G2 Cliffhanger Climax, and he actually won it as well. He won their top prize, the Wallaby Cup. Johnny Champlain is certainly winning all the gold that he can, and it looks like he's continuing this undefeated, dominant run. But, Johnny, there's something you should know, and that's what Mr. Boss has to say, because apparently Mr. Boss has something to say right now. Mr. Boss, let's cut to you. Hello Supercharged Wrestling fans, it is Mr. Boss here once again with some important news. A couple weeks ago on this program, you guys got to hear from Mr. Crazy. And he had some comments and concerns about his previous match against Johnny Champion at Wrestle Crusade Reckoning. There was one thing that Mr. Crazy said in that interview that remains true. Johnny Champion does in fact owe Mr. Crazy a rematch. You see, Johnny Champion holds the Extreme Backyard Fighting World Championship. And as long as that belt has been around, it has, the same principle has remained from the very beginning. If you lose the belt or lose a match for the belt, you are entitled to a rematch. One rematch. So Johnny Champion, by beating Mr. Crazy and retaining your title, not only does Mr. Crazy get another shot, but it will be at the last showdown. And mind if I spice things up a little bit. In your previous encounter, it was an Iron Man match. So in this match, it will be a no time limit. Two out of three falls match for both the Extreme Backyard Fighting World Championship and the Supercharged Wrestling World Championship. Johnny Champion, Mr. Crazy, going at it once and for all in our main event. Oh, and uh, a contract signing for the match will take place on the next episode of Wrestle News Weekly. Well, would you look at that? It looks like the main event is pretty much said and done. And I'm excited to also announce, as Mr. Boss previously stated, that the contract signing will in fact be taking place next episode. Also, folks, I will say this. Next episode of Wrestle News Weekly will be our last episode. Yes, yes, 
I know. We've had a lot of fun here together, and I've had a wonderful time being your host, but next week it comes to an end. There is only one more show before the last showdown. See you all next episode. My name is Ricky Sailboat. Good night.